Today we're going to test the Heysa Core Tour Grip. Um, I already know how it plays, um, so that's why I'm putting it on my old racket. Uh, but I do know that some people really like the, the Tour Grip, so that's why we're going to review it today. Please let me know below what kind of grip you use. Do you use the X-Grip, the Heysa Core Grip, the Shockout or Basic Grip? Uh, or the noon, I heard some comments about that as well. So uh, please let me know what you use. In this package, you get the extra things that you need to put it on, put the grip on, because it's quite hard to do. So this is the grip, and this is the ending, and this is where it should stop. Put all the things in. This is a nightmare to pull off, but we do it for you. After 20 minutes, we are ready to go. And then add one more overgrip, or two, or three, or 15, depending how you want to play. If you put on an overgrip, you can do it from right to left or from left to right. And there are some players that swear that if you do it from left to right, and if you're right-handed, that you have more grip on the racket. Um, because now I normally put the grip, um, I'm here, I'm putting the grip like this, so towards the right, but you can also do it the other way around. So if you do it the other way around, it might give you more grip, um, that's something you could try. Some players cannot play without it. Yeah, so now it's on the left, and if it's the other way around, then you might have more grip. That's a personal preference, because normally you, you have a style of putting the overgrip on, but you can do it the other way around as well. Because that's the difference between winning and losing, the overgrip. Okay, so now it's on. So it's a little bit different than the X grip. It's more present, and I normally I said I, I played for uh, with the um, with the Hazelcore for a period of time. I, I I recommended the Hazelcore for people that play in one grip. And if you change your grip, this Hazelcore grips grip is kind of shaping towards the the shape of your hand, and um, so that makes it very comfortable when you're playing in one grip. Um, I'm somebody that changes the grip a little bit my um, so then maybe it's not for me and I prefer then maybe the shock out or the X grip um, but uh, it was a very long time ago when I tested this so I'm gonna do it again
after playing a bit, um, especially f uh, forehand volleys and bandejas, I I felt that I was holding the racket lower. So I was going to to be here, which is good f for the amount of effect and, and the amount of wrist that you use and the hands that you use in the match. So that's what I personally really like about the Hazakoi grip. The downside, and I I'm going to sell the Hazakoi grip so I can say that. Um, for me it's too hard. I feel that I have pain in my hands using it. Um, maybe it's better to use an extra overgrip. I highly recommend to use two overgrips over the Hazakoi grip. So Hazakoi grip, overgrip, overgrip. Because otherwise this is too hard. And I felt like it, it. I had pain in my hands. So that's my personal opinion. I know that people really like the grip. So I recommend it to people that play in the same grip and they don't change that. I turn a lot with my, with my hands. So then it's not for me. Um, I personally like to have like a softer grip, like, like the X grip or the shock out. It's much easier to play with for me. So I, I know that some people like it, but I have to be very honest with my personal opinion. And it doesn't mean that it's good or bad. That's just how I feel. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you have any questions regarding to paddle gear and you want me to review a specific item or racket or anything, please let me know in the comments below and I will see you next time. Hasta luego. Ciao. Adios.